a big question that I get as a coach to network marketers is, gosh, when I talk to people about my business, their eyes just glaze over. Have you ever had that experience? I, my eyes glazed over one time when I met with a friend from a networking group and we met for coffee, you know, to tell each other about our businesses and everything. And this man, I swear, must have talked 20 minutes nonstop before he ever came up for air, before he ever asked me, am I interested in any of that stuff? He just went on and on and on about his business, his products, and everything he wanted to tell me, you know, under the sun. And it's like I was interested in a little aspect of it, but he talked about the other stuff. And uh, it sort of left me in the dust. You know, he's off his own trip. And that's not a relationship. That's a person talking to themselves. It's a one, <laughs> it's one sided relationship. There was no interaction with listening. So I recommend that as network marketers, that you listen 90% when you're talking. Let them do the 10, you know, uh, let them do 90% of the talking and ask a few questions. You know, you ask questions 10% of the time so you can get more information about them so you know how to phrase your carefully selected answers. And when you're actually closing, you know, a, a deal, a, a product, selling product, service, a business opportunity, talk 60, well, yeah, talk 40% and listen 60%. Again, you know, you're talking a little bit more, but let them do most of the talking. Listen, ask the right questions, become interested in them. It gives you more information on how to carefully construct your answer so you're giving them what they want to know and not any more or not any less. If, they, if they're hearing what they want to know, their eyes are not going to glaze over. They're going to be riveted and locked on you because it's what they want. It's what they're interested in. It's what their goals are. And a really good book on this is Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People says people love to talk about themselves. They love to talk about what they're interested in. They love to be asked about themselves. So use this precious secret in your work with people.